I'm voting because my sister is gay and I want to be able to go to her wedding, so I want to vote for the presidential candidate that has the most compelling reasons for gay marriage and is a supporter of it, as well as women's rights, um, affordable birth control, um, and more taking care of women so that women can be more in charge of themselves. And yeah, it's gay rights and women's rights. That's why I'm voting. <laughs> I like when people say like, if you're not voting, you can't complain. And I know a lot of young people who are complaining about this or that, like the cost of school or whatever they're complaining about. And I know a lot of them don't vote. For all the people who don't care, like if everybody cared, if everyone just took the 10 minutes to care, then you could complain if nothing changed. But not doing anything and then complaining, that doesn't really work. I feel removed. Like, I mean, I haven't really cared about voting in the past, but I've gotten a little more aware of it. Um, I think people don't care because it seems far away. I think a lot of culture even makes our voices not really matter. Like there is the like the upsurging of people, you know, your voices matter, but personally I've always felt like it didn't, like my voice doesn't matter because I'm just one person. I, I'm voting now. I haven't in the past, but I'm voting now because there's more issues that I see that matter. And that if I don't vote, it won't change and I don't have a right to complain. So I want to vote because I want to live in a society that I want to live in. So I'm going to vote for the things that I want to happen.